don't expect anything in your life to change if your environment is controlling your feelings and thoughts. And if your environment is controlling how you feel and think, and I say to you, Aubrey, why are you so upset today? Oh, well, this person is upsetting me. What you're really saying is that person is controlling your feelings and your thoughts, and that means you're a victim to your environment. So to turn that around and you start realizing your feelings and thoughts create your environment, <laughs> and you start seeing the effects of you at cause, you're going to react less to the people in your life because you're going to understand that you'll be back to the victim consciousness. And, and when you start seeing that you're creating outcomes in your life, you're going to believe more that you're the creator of your life and less the victim of your life. And I say, the more you practice it, the better you get at it. Your brain is a memory bank. It's a record of everything you've learned and experienced to this moment. We could say that your brain is a record or an artifact of the past. So most people, when they wake up in the morning and they start their day, a brand new day where there's so many different possibilities, the first thing they do is they get their brain working and they start activating circuits in their brain that are connected to memories of the past. So they think about the problems in their life and those problems are connected to certain people and certain things and certain times and places. And every one of those problems then has an emotion associated with them. So if thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of your body and how you think and how you feel creates a state of being, if you're living by familiar and same thoughts and you're feeling the same emotions and emotions are a record of the past, we could say that most people wake up in the morning and their entire state of being is in the past, in the familiar past. Now every thought has a frequency. Every thought produces an energy. So we could say then from a quantum perspective, you're thinking the same known thoughts the majority of the time that are producing the same frequencies. So then the same frequency is the same energy and your life shouldn't change. And the only way your life can change is to change your energy. And nobody changes until they change their energy. People need a rush of dopamine in order to catch their attention or a rush of adrenaline to learn. And so that they're, they're dependent on their outer environment to regulate their emotional state. Now, this is different now. Now, I'm going to say to you, get in that beautiful heart of yours, and I want you to feel gratitude for the event before it occurs. Well, I can't feel it because it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, that's the conditioning. That's the hypnosis. So then when you teach purple people how to create heart coherence and self-regulate, then it makes sense then with a coherent brain, they can hold the image of their future. Mm -hmm. They can actually then rehearse who they're going to be. They can bring up the emotions of their future. Now, here's the cool part. Awesome. If they can feel their gratitude before their healing, their healing begins. If they feel their abundance or their worthiness before they have their wealth, it will start generating abundance. Mm. If they start being in love with themselves and being in love with life, they'll create an equal. That's the law. If they're in awe of life or in awe of the moment, they're going to have a mystical experience. If they're empowered, they're going to start stepping towards their success. success. Mm -hmm. So then when we wait for the outer world to change our internal state, that's a conditioning process because some people will live in lack and separation their entire life because right. they're not creating anything. Mm -hmm. When this happens, then I'll feel happy. That's the illusion of three-dimensional reality. That's cause and effect. But Feeling the emotion ahead of the experience is causing an effect. So the heart, when it's coherent, tends to produce an external magnetic field that's up to three meters wide. Now you've got a Wi-Fi signal. Mm -hmm. Now when you have a coherent brain, the brain could actually lay the information on that signal. And the thought of your wealth or your health can be carried on the frequency of that heart emotion. Emotions are the end product of an experience, right? The inner emotion you create has to be greater than the emotion from that past outer experience. The energy of your empowerment or the amplitude of your inspiration must be greater than your pain or sadness. Now you're changing the inner environment of the body, which is the outer environment of the cell. The genes for health can be upregulated while the genes for disease can be downregulated. The more profound the emotion, the louder... You're knocking on your genetic door, and the more you're going to signal those genes to change the structure and function of your body. 
That's how it works.